You would think I'd know by now. Okay, that's going that's oh my god, I look bald. You ever have like a really bad hair day and it ruins your day? <laughs> oh, every day. What that is me right now. No, your hair looks phenomenal right now. Your hair? Yeah. No, your hair. Oh. <laughs> Not mine. I mean, thank you, but I thought you were literally bringing that up to be like, yeah, my hair looks phenomenal right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't relate way. to having a bad hair day. Well, welcome back okay. to Bookmarked, everyone. Happy yeah, Thursday. Welcome back to Bookmarked. The podcast you guys love. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I'm just trying we're to manifest you. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're telling you that you guys love the pod, so I'm just kidding. Maybe you guys hate it. What do I know, really? Nothing. No. Comment down below how no. much you love our podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another week. Today's episode is number 25. I don't know why I like the number 25. I like it. I was going to say that's a great number. And next week's episode is going to be really fun, guys. Isn't it? Do you not know? Why is, why is it fun? Because oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It was so hard coming up with things to talk about this episode because we didn't have like a time off because with the last few we had a few weeks off i had stuff to say girl nothing's going yeah. on but next week will be fun no. don't worry well no this week will be fun because i'm feeling a little unhinged today and the stuff that i have to talk about isn't even really personal it's just like stuff that i it's random thoughts which is scary coming from me because if you are a watcher of my videos you guys know where those thoughts lead sometimes and it's like crazy how my brain can just like think about these things sometimes so no i can't wait for you to share with the class do you want to share with the class your drink of the episode today i would love to i got a really yeah. cute cup and i'm really excited to show okay. this i was gonna drink okay. an olipop but i want to save them for dinner i made a coffee wait i have to show the cup without <gasps> spilling hold on christmas tree oh wait you're gonna die for what? our end of the episode fun thing look at my cup <gasps> oh and you have a santa claus one is yours from target yep target from last year <laughs> this is from last year uh -huh. vintage if you will and i got a little a little plate with a christmas tree on it to put the cup on top because that's oh, fun oh that is I don't have a coaster. so adorable and the that's water like so ruins cute. my desk cute right i'm having a coffee yes. now it's like what time is it it's almost two because I got my lashes done this morning so I couldn't have coffee because I can't I can't lay there for like over an hour with caffeine in me. Mm -mm. I'll start like shaking. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not oh, good. Yeah, no. I got my eyelashes done yesterday. Ah, we're on the same schedule. Yeah, we really are because one episode, me and Sarah were literally both leaving after the <laughs> episode to go to a hair appointment mm -hmm. and then we both just got our lashes done. I had to get mine done because I cried off the whole entire all of the lashes on this side oh no cried all of them right on off so the worst is when like you cry and like the way they feel after they're wet it's like crispy yes like when the water my, gets stuck in them it's because my lash lady literally just told me this yesterday because she was like wow like this eye is gone like there i'm i'm telling you there's probably like only five hanging on like it was like That's four on yeah yeah she was like well the salt that's in your tears like when it mixes with your eyelashes like they're done like you just yeah. gotta take them off because that's what done. happened last time when i peeled all mine off because they were like the yeah. way they felt i just had to start going at them <laughs> oh yeah no that's what she told me so pro tip if you guys have lash extensions and you're a crier she told me to lean forward <laughs> oh perfect so i said i'll remember that next of... time i'm sobbing i'll remember that next time <laughs> that i'm sobbing like i was to just like lean forward <laughs> maybe that'll stop you from sobbing because you look silly talking about um my drink Mm -hmm. of the episode because literally oh. have three drinks of the episode because oh. i was like all over the place today this this is my mind so i have my stanley cup full of water because you know you gotta stay hydrated queens then i have my yeah. coffee that i made in my little hydro flask cup that looks like a fourth graders tumbler bottle this is just a peppermint mocha love okay and then i wanted to surprise you because i had to grab oh. a few groceries yesterday and i wanted to surprise sarah by trying i got <gasps> six different olipop flavors <gasps> and i wanted to try this in honor of you this so, is so this is the dr goodwin and yes. i think is this supposed to be like dr pepper yeah i tried that one because dr pepper is my favorite soda but it's not my favorite olipop Ooh, okay i'm very excited because i do like dr pepper that's good it's good i'm gonna give you it a like six it? out of ten okay that's valid i feel like i'd give that one a six I feel like my I favorite could drink the whole thing i want to try the apple crisp one really bad i think it's holiday like they get rid of it after like, oh. it's limited edition well, I love that you got the Olipop. I wanted to, like, honor you with the Olipop, so. I know. I wish I could honor you with an Alani new. No, but. I just can't put you through that. <laughs> I'll have a panic attack on camera for you guys if you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a coffee because I was, I've was i already had an Alani today, and I have to save my second Alani of the day for later. Okay. <laughs> to pivot to some topics of today's Let's episode. Pivot. 
Okay. Um, so I think I have finally <laughs> curated my for you page on TikTok to be per- a perfect <laughs> match for me. Because okay. this morning when I was on the stair climber, um, that's like really the only time that I allow myself to like actually scroll through TikTok is the 30 minutes that I spend on the stair climber. Yeah. I think like that's a good thing to do. Because if I wake up on TikTok, a good thing I'm on it for an hour. Yeah. And I feel like it's incentive for me to do the stair climb. How pathetic is it? <laughs> it's an incentive though, because I feel like when you're on TikTok, time just kind of passes and you don't realize mm-hmm. it. So anyway, moral of the story, I spend my time on TikTok on the stair climber and that's really the only time that I do it during the day. And so I was scrolling through TikTok this morning and it was just banger after banger after banger. That's like if you saw me active on TikTok this morning on in my reposts, it was insane. And all of the TikToks I was saving, like, have you been seeing the thing where they'll put like the tangled the song from Tangled where it's like, I want something that I want. And then and the it's like p- over dancer. people at concerts. Yeah, dancing. <laughs> yeah. I that keep is- getting ones of of Maddie Healy. Yeah, I saw I've one like his. that. Mine are like, I think it's, is it Nelly Choppa that I keep getting? <laughs> like, no, random. I, um, I, I, I saw a Drake I, one that was to Goofy Goober. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that song's funny. It's funny though, because when you get like the rappers with that song in the background, it's it's funny. I got a Post Malone one too. Oh, and that I one was really Malone. fun. Did you I'm see him to... singing country? Yeah, he's literally... I am still waiting on him to drop the song. He there's like a video of him from like a few months ago where he's talking to a little baby and he was saying that he wanted to do a song like sampling him singing the song where it's like wanna take you for a ride on a big oh really plane. Have you ever yeah. heard that song? Yeah, yeah. He and he he like sung it in the clip and I was like I need it biblically. <laughs> I need yeah. it. I need to hear him sing the song. And I've been waiting because he sings country music so well. And like songs, yeah. like folk so songs good. like that. I would love for him to have a country album. No, literally, he has such a unique voice. I don't know what it is about yeah. him. It's so, I don't know. I just love it. Shout out Post Malone. I wish Harry That's would so play. That's so sweet. His pop-up is up right now. Or not. Is it today? Is today Thursday? Today's Wednesday. Um, listeners, it's Thursday. He has um, yeah. he came out perfumes. And they're having oh, a pop-up. Oh, I saw that. Like, like it's gonna be open till sunday i want to go so bad i'm gonna get the perfume the pop-up i don't know yeah I don't oh, know oh i was just There's asking about the perfume ones. oh yeah i'm definitely gonna get it i feel like i want to have it i have to have a pleasing signature scent i have to get one you do have to get one i bought one of the hoodies for Love over a hundred dollars like yeah they're expensive <laughs> which is but crazy. perfume is expensive within itself like really high-end expensive perfumes are like 200 bucks i think that's what he's going for it's like a yeah high end you what's can the scent have. supposed to be what's the notes of it oh uh, i can look it up there's three different ones uh one of them is a floral fresh amber scent with a top note of ambret seed lemon black pepper white linen and poplin blossom this sounds like a so floral it's supposed scent. to be like clean yeah i think that's what that one is right hot is woody amber um tobacco leaves vanilla crisp amber and then the last one is pink pepper woody musk cashmere woods oh okay. Listen. <laughs> and i don't know which one i'll probably get the, the one with the vanilla i like vanilla floral yeah. vanilla type of it's me anyway <laughs> back to what you were saying sorry to steer no, that no, one. no 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 i know i know i needed to hear you talk about that i i genuinely did i this sucks because i want to show you all of the tiktoks that i saved this morning but it sucks because like they can't watch them that's understandable basically the gist of this conversation is that i feel like i have curated my for you page to where it's genuinely my humor in videos and my humor is definitely messed up because i showed isaac a tiktok the other day that i had laughed at for 10 straight minutes and that's not an exaggeration like i just couldn't Mm -hmm. even get a hold of myself and it was a tiktok where it was like running was invented in 1900 and it was like mother effers in like 1899 <laughs> like sweet walking <laughs> and it was a video where the kid's like on the sidewalk and he's like eating and the other kid takes it from him and then they're just like walking <laughs> they're like walking they after each run. other and i was like no exactly i was like this is hilarious and this is peak comedy and i showed it to isaac because you ever show like chris a tiktok that you just think is like so hilarious and you just like want to share in that joy with somebody and then, and then they they're just like straight faced the worst feeling like, in the world i laugh at 
you ever scrolling on your instagram when you get past like the people you follow to like the just like the for you whatever yeah. memes they'll post like i get a lot of those and they crack me up and every time i show yes, them it's they just do. like not funny so no exactly I, I wish somebody nice. shared the same humor that i do you can send them to me send you should make Sarah. a video reacting to these these tiktoks <laughs> would you guys want to see a video of me literally just sitting down for probably like an hour just talking yes. about all of the tiktoks that I like? my tiktok feed i don't even know it's definitely not curated to me i get the most random videos oh so you know mine is curated to a teaks you want to know why because i don't like videos unless like it's actually something that i so i feel like yeah your for you page gets curated through what you like interact with mm-hmm. so i only like the stuff that i like yeah i don't like a lot of tiktoks but i'll go through the like, comments of every single one if i see one I'll, like i'll yeah. swipe over go through like the page and stuff so i think i interact too much that i just have a random random for you page it always goes back to like agatar edits though i'm always back yeah. there <laughs> speaking of taylor swift <laughs> i mean everybody saw the videos it's not like this yeah. is like breaking news that of the videos it was from a big, the argentina show it was a big day I, was, I went out with um, Chris and Danny and, and Lauren and I went back to Chris's house and I opened up TikTok and the first video I saw was her running up to kiss him. Like that was the first thing from that show that I yeah. saw. Look over at Chris and I screamed. <laughs> what is wrong with you? And I showed it to him and even, I will talk to him about like what's going on in the Taylor world. Even this, yeah. he was like, wow. He was like, wow, that's actually yeah. like, I agree, you can have this reaction. And then I kept yeah. going and I was like, oh, She's also doing a mashup. She's also singing like all the other stuff she was doing. I was explaining to him like the lore of everything, and he was all he was actually like very supportive on this one. He was like, "Wow, that's actually pretty crazy." I'm like, "Thank you." That, it was crazy, and do you want to know what's even crazier? Is the fact that when I saw the videos, I was also at Isaac's house, and I was sitting <laughs> next to Isaac. But my thing was, it was three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Just set okay. the scene because this was crazy. To set the scene, it was three o'clock in the morning and he had just came into his room because I think he was like playing, I think he was playing Fortnite or something. And then he woke me up because I can always sense when somebody comes in the room. So he wakes me up and then we're up and we're talking and then I like go on my phone and I open TikTok and the first video I see is like, it was like one video from the concert. I saved that one scroll and then it was just like every single new Mm -hmm. video like of her mashup, of him holding the sign, of him like interacting with her dad, of her singing the Chiefs part, of her doing this, of her doing that. And I'm just scrolling. And the first video I saw, I started freaking out. So then Isaac's watching me scroll through TikTok. And he, just like Chris, he was like, oh, wow. Like, this is this is crazy. Like, you know, the It's big. The it, karma it truly lyric. is. Because she's, I feel like she's never, like, acted, not like, I don't want to say, like, acting out. Because this isn't acting out. But I feel like she's never been this, like, vibrant yeah. with you, yeah. a boyfriend and before. I was you should have seen me smiling watching the videos because you can just see on yes. her face even just all the other songs she was singing not even just like the ones towards travis it was just her smile and like the brightness in her eyes like not to be like delusional yes. about it but she, truly she looked so incredibly happy yeah and it's just she so happy did. And, like, I, I think i saw a video of her singing bejeweled and she just like was giggling and was just mm-hmm. so like over the moon mm-hmm. and that's just awesome to like watch somebody else be that happy about something yeah and so i was like this is great this is awesome so i was shook and i it, i kid you not it whatevered me so much that i got a random burst of energy at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> and so i saw it at like one in, or two a.m or something too yeah <laughs> I'm yes, so excited. We're, we're in isaac's room and i am not this person listen when i'm tired i'm cranky i stop talking i'm like the worst person to be around and so needless to say at 3 a.m i'm never the person with energy I get up and I literally start playing um, Look What You Made Me Do and I take like my phone and I force Isaac off of his phone and he's trying to lay in bed and go to sleep like he's literally tired and I'm like ducking down and I'm acting like I'm rising up. (laughs) I start performing a whole entire concert song Mm -hmm. after song I start singing Endgame I'm like oh my gosh (laughs) this is so them at one point I jump on the bed like I jump onto the bed I make a jump on with my feet (laughs) no like I land on my feet and I'm just like really in it and then I think, what was the song was I singing? It was the song from Reputation. So you just know, like, I was yeah, just the vibes. really in the vibe. Mm-hmm. And at one point, I accidentally, literally, like, landed right on Isaac's shin. 
and you guys oh, know like when you get hit right there that hurts so bad and i landed knees knees onto his no. shin. and needless to say the party was over after that um <laughs> but i was killed to yeah he told you to go uh, to bed yeah. he put you in timeout he no said he that's did enough. no he literally <laughs> turned off the t- it was like turn off the tv it's all done go to bed yeah go you to bed fun Mm-hmm. yeah it, i literally it felt far. like a child all over again he yeah. was like you need to go to bed and i was like wow this is not <laughs> real right that's that but that's what this news did to me because i was literally yeah. like wow yeah wow you know, like, pers- it felt personal like i personally felt it too and i saw a tiktok yes. of her singing after or at one of the concerts after her and joe broke up and she was i don't know what song she was singing but like you can tell like she was like cr- basically like, kind of crying through it and then it like went to like her singing end game on the piano and it was like the yeah. same the same vibe but like her like expressions and stuff i don't know girly is happy and it's making me really happy <laughs> yes which i think in that video where she's like super sad she was singing um i don't want to live forever is that, does, does that the name of the song yeah from the 50 shades um, of gray that she did with yeah. zane um and yeah and then her singing her songs now which To go through the concert, I think if we go back, so during Blank Space and the song where she's like, and you know, I love the players, she like pointed at him and then there was a video of like him like pointing at her like after she did that and like being all giddy and cute and he was standing next to her dad the whole entire show and her dad was wearing like a chief's lanyard and her dad was literally like videotaping him like this, like all zoomed into his face. Like I know her dad is so sweet and so they were like together and then during the archer he was holding up a we will stay sign and out Mm -hmm. of everything that is what hit me because we have distinguished that i'm an the archer girly Mm -hmm. and so the the whole entire point of that song and then him holding up that sign (laughs) i can't handle it he is and it's the way that he's like he's standing like where he's supposed to stand but like it's like with all the fans are out there too and he's kind of like with them he's like kind of singing with them and he, he's not yes. like annoyed about it either like them recording no. him like he knows that everyone's like yeah. watching him and his reactions and he just he's just there for her oh i know at one point there was like they were trying to like yell like stuff like i think they were like chanting travis or something and he was like no no like like yell for her yell for her like he well, was i'm like, not gonna cry over this <laughs> no like it is so sweet he just lets her like do then, her thing and he supports her he like, lets her so be hard. bejeweled if you will mm-hmm it's great let her be bejeweled which is great and also um what was i about to say oh the whole entire karma thing the karma lyric change oh karma i is think the guy on the cheese. not that i know but i think that her standing up there she's like this would be really funny like because no one knew like her dancers reactions like they were surprised that she yeah. did it um her dad yeah. was like pointing at him like she just said <laughs> guy in the cheese which, it was so cute it was so and her hearing her she starts laughing too when she says that like she knew what she was doing like she was yeah. literally like oh, watch this but i just watched because the new heights episode when we're filming this that's wednesday the new heights episode just dropped this morning and i was watching I it when i was it at yet. home and travis talks about it because Jason <gasps> like, really makes him talk about it yes they like talked about it for probably like I five minutes watch. or so and it was funny because jason was like we need to talk about it and travis was like what makes you think that i don't want to talk about it like he's like very whatever and so it was so cute but travis said that he kind he said i kind of knew that it was going to happen so what i imagine was probably taylor was like i'm gonna gonna do this i'm gonna say this and then he probably was like okay like we'll see if that like really happens because you could tell it did catch him off guard yes it was probably like a show (laughs) maybe she'll do it maybe she won't because it is like a big thing to do like that's like a oh, big yeah. like thing to yeah. straight up be like karma is the guy on the chiefs coming straight home to huh. me like that is she yeah. ate yeah. she ate and it's funny because when that's when when her and, when her and um um travis like the rumors or whatever like she was at the first game and stuff all of like the tiktok edits and that like lyric yeah. was in it like the guy on the screen coming straight home to me because like yeah. he's playing t- on tv and then she said it like with that lyric i don't know it's all full circle and i love it so much and the fact that her one of her surprise songs was endgame yeah that was telling and i saw Are someone joking people theorizing she was gonna sing that like with like they were like imagine she sings endgame with travis there like that's really like telling and then she and do you want to know what makes me so happy with that because it makes way more sense that in game it's not about travis obviously she wrote it about joe but it makes so much more sense with him like yeah <laughs> you guys have big reputations like yes yeah. you do like yeah, the lyrics yes with, you are yeah. in game 
Yeah, I loved that. And the other surprise song, not it's not like about like Travis, but the way that she because she said somewhere Did that the mashup. Yeah, Out of the Woods is the sister song too. Is it over now? And yeah, when I heard that, when she started going into the Out of the Woods bridge, oh, what a crazy mashup Wait, that was! Wait, she said that, that it's the sister song of that. Yeah, she said I don't know where she had like these voiceovers or something. I don't know what it's on, but I saw it on TikTok, and she basically said like that was always like the sister song to Out of the Woods, and she chose one to put on the original album, and she chose Out of the Woods, so it was always supposed to be like a. They're like kind of about the same thing, which we've kind of theorized. Wait, that but it makes so much sense because it's almost yeah. like two sides of the coin where it's like, is it over now? And then out of the woods, it's like, we made it out. But then is it over now? Yeah. It's like, well, no, yeah, which is why she did the mashup. I was like, so shook. And it, it, it fit just, so well. It sounded so good. I literally just thought that it was just because people were like doing that on TikTok that she was like, yeah, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> no, she said somewhere. I don't know where she said it. It was like in her voice. She like explained it, but that's like that's like my dream my dream concert but the whole entire big thing was the footage of her running up to him because just giving him a big old kiss the best is him just like waiting for her out there because like (sighs) she was like he was like the first person she saw while like running back like he wasn't like waiting backstage for her like he was waiting for her after she got stage and i saw them (laughs) this was funny i saw them i saw them a tiktok clip of her getting in the car after and she was still in her outfit yeah from the last song and people were saying jav probably said like <laughs> keep that outfit on for later <laughs> yeah i saw that too Something because funny like that that's the outfit that she does vigilante shit in i think mm-hmm. isn't it and yeah, then there was a been, obviously yeah but there was a clip of her doing like the dance for for that song and <laughs> I think it was showing her dad and Travis next to each other trying not to make it like awkward because like she does like the dance yeah. is kind of like the dance that she does <laughs> and it was so funny. Which that is, I, I, I get it but also like that's so random because I feel like she doesn't do anything like that with the rest of the show and then Vigilante is just literally like. I love it though. When did she sing Labyrinth? When did she sing um, or is that part Labyrinth, of Labyrinth I think that was the night before or whatever night was before that one. Yeah but that's like but the, looked, the i saw people posting that too like the way she looked when she was singing that yeah falling in love oh the whole I'm thing is just incredible eating. and i love i'm eating it up and i also saw a tiktok of a girl who went to the movies to see the arrows store like um yes she said it was like her fourth time did you see it and she met yeah. travis's mom and she was wearing yeah, her 1989 sweater the girl and she said when she was leaving she took a picture of travis's mom with her friend that went to go see the the movie and they were in florida it was like just randomly and Travis was like, thank you. I have to send this to like Taylor and, and Travis now. And the girl was like freaking out because like she took that picture. And then on her yeah. way out, the um, Travis's mom said that she also has the 1989 cardigan. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so cute. So cute. And the girl's freaking out because she was like Taylor and Travis now have a picture that I took. Like I would also be freaking out. Yeah. But isn't that just yeah, so cute? I she would... just went to go support. And the girl was like yes. in the movie theater. It was after that huge night of the concert. And in the, the movie theater, they sang the guy in the chiefs coming home straight home to me no one knew that travis's yeah. mom was in the theater and i just thought that was so funny <gasps> nothing exciting has happened okay. this past week the only yeah. exciting thing i did this whole this whole week was decorate my bed for christmas i was literally <laughs> going to text you about that the other day and ask about a bedding update oh yeah because we were talking about it at the yeah. after was it on the episode no it was after we were talking about no it, right? it was after it was in our debrief me and sarah do like <laughs> what you would imagine unwinds are like how some people do that and we just do it after and we, we talk for an extra hour or two after yeah. the podcast is over just us two but yeah i was searching the whole time after for like christmas bedding but i ended up it's i just have like a white comforter and i got christmas pillows and christmas sheets and christmas like throw blankets you'll see it but yeah it's really it's cute i need to get now christmas decorations for like my actual room like little christmas yeah. trees and stuff i want to do this week but i was like over not that i'm over fall love fall but like i'm not a thanksgiving girly like i don't really yeah don't love it so like i'm ready to decorate and get cozy for the holidays like i'm over my that's my fall stuff that's where i'm at right now i actually took all the fall stuff out of my room you guys can't tell because whatever yeah same but all the fall stuff is out of my room and i'm decorating fully for christmas tomorrow because i will be leaving saturday and i did this when i went down to jersey in october yeah with my fall stuff where i'm like i'm gonna put it up that way when i get home i can just like enjoy it and i come home to like this space of whatever because listen i'm over fall too because i feel like once we get to thanksgiving to me it's the holidays like it's no longer like fall or really even a season i'm just kind of like it's the holiday season it feels like whatever it is and looks like whatever it is i kind of clump in thanksgiving with just like christmas hanukkah holidays over there yes we're just gonna put them all together 
I literally have been begging Isaac for the past two weekends. I was like, can we please go get Christmas decorations for your guys' house? You guys have like the perfect upstairs windows for a big Christmas tree and garland on the windows. Uh-huh. And oh my God, you guys have a fireplace where you can literally hang up stockings. Like I need oh, to like to. get my hands on some Christmas decor. And yeah. he was like, they were all sitting there. And I was going on and on about this. And they were like, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. I was like, but I rope in Thanksgiving, like, with mm-hmm. the holidays. Like, it's, like, a part of the holidays, which is, like, yeah. Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, Christmas, whatever. And so I'm like, no, because I feel like I want to throw up my freaking Christmas tree. And yeah, I'm so, ready. My mom asked me, too, if we could put the Christmas tree up. Because she asked me, like, I think it was, like, beginning of November. And I was like, mom, it's a little too early. Like, I know people do that, and yeah. I'm all for that. But I was like, let me enjoy the fall. But I think we're going to put it up soon. <laughs> Usually we wait till after Thanksgiving, but... I, I went like Christmas decor shopping like me and my mom did because she didn't she oh my god I don't know if anybody else's parents are like this but my parents are like don't get us anything for Christmas whatever blah 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 and um my parents know that my love language is gift giving so that's literally feels like the equivalent of literally like betrayal to me like I can't not get somebody yeah. a gift that's so basically like my mom was I like love gift giving yeah my mom was like you can just like we'll go Christmas decor shopping so I bought her like any of the Christmas decor that she wanted because like my mom loves decorating for Christmas so anything that she wanted I was just getting all of it for her whatever she wanted so we did that I like I'm, t- I'm talking about like the f- november 1st we get home and this woman is throwing up the christmas tree hanging up the pictures <laughs> like we have had we have two christmas trees downstairs in the same vicinity of each other we are like christmas downstairs to the t so yeah, i think my mom wants been to since the of november i yeah. can't wait to see your mom's christmas decorations your mom like can decorate to like she the tins so oh, I'm she loves see. decorating christmas decorating too she loves having all the lights up she'll keep them up as long as she can she thinks it's like cozy and like home. it is cozy that's a thing yeah. fall is that's cozy like fall decor is cozy and so is christmas yeah love I it. Agree. hey love it and love i'm it. excited i need to get some some this week that's the yeah. only thing that i've done though oh i went to a comedy show but like i want to go to a comedy show i want to go see adam sandler i actually just saw a clip <gasps> when i was sitting go. i want to go because i saw a clip literally just like a few minutes ago before we started the podcast when i was sitting here and it was like a clip of his last show that he just did because he's on tour right now and all of a sudden he like looks at somebody in the audience and he's like oh my god and it was kevin james and then all of a sudden all the other people from like all of his other movies like how he always like brings all of his friends into you know like the same movies so it was like kevin james and all the people from grown-ups and like all of his friends and then ben stiller got on the pace i'm like why he's gonna be be in madison square garden do we know when um we should look into that not too sure we should probably look that up you have the show. fear of going to comedy shows for like smaller people because they do a lot of like audience and crowd work and that is yeah. my worst fear for somebody to start yeah I'm not i wouldn't want to be called I'm out not. but i do like watching it yeah. destiny sent me a tiktok and it was like the most played taylor swift album in your state and it was just a picture of the states so that you didn't have like any names <laughs> of them and it was like colored yeah. in with the album and then she sent it to me and i was like well sorry i don't know where indiana is like what's yours and then she told me and then i didn't tell her and i didn't tell her ours and she's like wait like which one's new jersey <laughs> and then i told her which one was new jersey <laughs> i feel like so new jersey's funny. a small state like on the you map you can like see it on the map though it's not like oh. small where it's like points at it but like it's, it's like long i don't know i'll show you it one day if you want but isn't it like on the coast where like everything starts to get a little jumbled and jumbled on the map yeah i tried to look for indiana but we all know i think it's in the south so like, there's no way i'm finding it indiana's just like it's like ohio indiana illinois <laughs> i don't know if that's true <laughs> look at the little yellow state you see all next to pennsylvania i mean come on sarah that's small <laughs> <laughs> we're small but you can still see us yeah but i just said is it one of those small and you were like i mean no you can definitely see it on the map that's like this is Aww. how i thought since elementary school when you had to fill in the states like once it got to like rhode island new jersey new york yeah. everything starts to get very tiny up in that corner of the map that i was just always can oh, we yeah. talk about how we evenly have 50 states i know them in alphabetical <laughs> order do you have anything, anything else to talk about do you have any updates do you have any um, book anything fun exciting Oh, I'm in the middle of King of Greed right now. I finished oh. King of Pride. I'm reading King of Greed by Anna Huang. And okay. I this is not this is like a second chance, but it's like marriage in turmoil and I haven't read a book like that since All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. So this is okay. interesting because it's like you see them so in King of Pride, okay. Oh my God. Which one do oh I have? God. I think I have King of Wrath. Is that the first one? yeah that's the first one so okay, here's the funny thing so anna huang wrote the twisted series twisted love twisted mm-hmm. games twisted hate 
and twisted lies. Oh my God, that's such a slide that I remembered all of those because it's been like a year <laughs> since I read that. No, it hasn't been. I read the last book in February. 2023 has felt them? like two years. I read wow. all of them. You know, wow. honestly though, you know me, once I start a series, I kind of have to finish it. Like I kind of have to see it through. Like I can't just stop. I can't see that one through. But I'm going to read so, another series, so. <laughs> so this is the other one, which is Kings of Sin. But she is kind of doing what Lauren Asher does, where it's like, for example, when you read the Dirty Air series and then you go into the Dreamland Billionaires, there's parts in the Dreamland Billionaires where they talk about the other characters, but like they don't ever interact with the characters from Dirty Air, but they just like acknowledge that they exist because they talk about like F1 yeah. racing at some point. And then in like Love Redesigned, they talk about like previous people from the Dreamland Billionaires series. Like they yeah, talk about like, some of the characters from there. So it's all in the same universe and they, you know, whatever that. It's the same thing with this Kings of Sin series. So you have the Twisted series. And then in King of Wrath, it's like Christian from Twisted Lies. Christian is friends with the guy in uh, King of Wrath. So um, that's like how it connects. And then the second book that I just read, I finished last night, King of Pride, that's like the guy from king of wrath's best friend okay okay so then this book it's um you see the girl from this book she's like talked about because she's friends with the girls from in this series she's friends with the girls in this series oh okay so she's one of the friends but she's not like one of the besties but she's like one of the girls that they like pick up and start hanging out with you guys oh my god i feel like i'm not explaining this properly i feel like you guys are all like jesus christ this is not making any sense at all and i'm sorry (laughs) but basically I'm saying all of this for what reason? I don't know. But, oh my God, what am I saying? Like, what is going on? It's okay. Mm, we're we're this listening. Is what, this is what I cut out of my videos. This is me. Like, I'm actually no, having heart it. palpitations. Okay. I like so. seeing how your brain gets to where you're trying to go. No, it's scary. It's actually kind of, oh God. So, oh, okay. <laughs> in this book you saw a girl and i was very intrigued because especially in king of pride they like give hints that basically like her relationship is kind of in trouble because i was like okay wait she's married so she's not gonna have a book but then they kind of started hinting at the fact that like she's very sad and like she's not really happy with her husband and like all of this stuff and her husband's never around so then i was like oh maybe she, it's like gonna be a romance with like somebody else like her and her husband are gonna get a divorce and then it's gonna be like with one of these other guys no mm-hmm. it's about her and her husband so it's more of like they're gonna repair their marriage type of thing okay and so i'm 20 percent through it right now and basically the guy he clawed his way up from nothing to become king of wall street okay so he's like a billionaire Ooh. with a b ladies and gentlemen with a b so <laughs> she has like been here since like the the beginning she's been here since the beginning and she's very sweet and he like oh, okay i was just about to start talking about the whole entire book because i just <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> you don't have you listen you don't know what you do not have to continue if you don't want to but we love to hear okay it. time for me um, to shut up for a little bit <laughs> so i've read i just read two twisted crowns and i'm back into my tandem now and i'm focusing on the tandem okay two twisted crowns is the one after yes yeah, the one, one dark, dark window. window yeah yes that one was really what did you really think good of that? i gave that one 4.5 what did you rate one dark window i don't know if it was like 4.25 it was like somewhere around there it was really good but this one mm-hmm. like she did everything that like i wanted like, I would want an author to do to, like, complete, like, a duology. Or, like, two. Yeah. Like, how the first one ended. Like, she really took... Like, she took it in the right route. Like, she did a great yeah. job with, like, the storyline of the second one. It was so good. Um, yeah. And she added, like, another romance. And, like, since the first one, there's already, like, a romance. So, like, adding a new one to, like, hold on to was so good. And, like, learning a new romance and new relationship. Is it about the same people or is it about two different no, people? No, there's, like, a new... Like, a, a new point of view and, like, his path. So good. I loved it. And now I I'm think tandeming. duologies are underrated. I think so too. It feels great, like getting that, out, like not out of the way, but like I'm completed now. Like I finished the little duology. Well, welcome to the bookmarked game show. So we actually have two different ones. First one probably is not going to take us a long time, but then we have the second idea that would probably take us a little bit long. I don't know. Okay. Actually, we're starting with our. This is our rendition of Guess Who book edition yeah right is that the one we're starting with okay yeah basically if you guys know the game guess who that was my favorite game growing up like you had a little board little characters up and you have to guess what character the other person has up and you just have to guess like do they have brown hair Um, yeah whatever and then at the end you try to guess who it is so we have both picked book characters and we're just going to ask each other 
questions and try to narrow down who the other person, who's, what character the other person is thinking of. Mm-hmm. This shall be very fun. Mm-hmm. It's so exciting. This shall be fun. I love games. This is hard though because like with guests who, like you both have like the same people on the board. So like as you eliminate the options, you like flip them down. And I can't remember a lot of the times physical descriptions of characters that aren't like imprinted into my brain. So this shall be yeah. done. Okay. Oh, is it a boy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a boy. Okay. Is it from is he from a fantasy series? No. Okay. Is it an adult romance? Yes. Is it Is it a cowboy romance? I yes. Not, yes. <laughs> okay (laughs) is it an eaton brother (laughs) yes this is too easy is it an actual eaton brother yes do we only get like one guess like the actual like when we guess the person yeah you only get like one you can only like buzz in with one actual person ah okay i'm trying to remember Because I don't think that you care about the first one. <laughs> I'm going to ask, does okay. this character have any trauma? No. Okay. I mean, probably does, but like not. not okay, main plot. I got it. I'm trying to think of at least one more question to solidify. Okay. Does this character have a child? Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> but the thing is, is there's multiple <laughs> options. Huh. Hmm. Is this character a bull rider? No. Okay. Is it? Is his name? Okay, I'm I'm putting my guess in. Okay. Is it? Is his name? <laughs> you know his name. <laughs> I know, but I'm think I don't think it's the name that I'm thinking though, which is embarrassing. So hold on. Okay. Yes, Cade. Is it Cade? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you That's know what I Kate. thought. I was like, okay, I the reason that I know Cade is because we used to have a dog named Cade, so every time I think of that book, oh. I'm like, we used to have a dog named Cade. Oh. I do um Harvey Eaton, but I put Cade. <laughs> okay. Um are they part of a series? No. Okay. Is it young adult? No. Okay. Is it a fantasy? No. I should have known that after I asked for series. <laughs> um <laughs> What fantasy is a standalone? Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Does it take place in the summer? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Are there... Hold on. Okay. Is it a girl? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Are there side characters that are important to the story? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, what other questions are you supposed to ask? I don't even know who it is. Is she any questions you want? I don't know what like really characteristics about these people. Is she blonde? No, neither do I. I literally can't remember. Is it second chance? Yes. Is she is she's in a second chance? In a book by Emily Henry? Yes. Summer, Emily Henry, they're all summer. Um <laughs> i have a i have a guess okay i forgot her name i feel like you know oh. who it is okay i know oh, her name geez. i think okay do they do they go to a um do they go to um just a week or a weekend do they go on a little mini vacation yeah buzz that's my buzzer okay um <laughs> is it harriet <laughs> yes <laughs> yes i was scared for a second when you asked about a weekend uh whatever i was like oh god does she think i'm trying to throw her off with people we meet on vacation <laughs> like, does she think i'm trying to throw her off with that let me see my next one this okay, is so much it. fun i'm this loving is, this okay i love it too okay you have your character in mind yeah is this character from a fantasy series no is this character <laughs> i feel like i don't want to keep asking the same questions to get to where i know it's hard is this a character that i like yes okay <laughs> i feel like romance is like the only other option because i don't really but is it a romance 
Mm-hmm. And it's not a part of a series. Did I already ask that? You didn't ask that. Wait, is is it a part of a series? It is. Did I like this series when I first read it? Yes. Is it a long series? Yes. Is it? Hmm. I feel like I'm thinking of the... I don't know. Okay, it's a long romance series. I feel like there's one, only one obvious <laughs> option that looks you in the face when you think of that. Ugh. I don't know what question to ask without giving it away. Does the character have a lot of character development? Yes. Is this particular character... If... If I had a list of favorite characters, would this character be on the list? Um, I don't think they're your first choice, but like you but like But would them. they make the list? Like I never really hear you talk about them. Would everybody like this character when they first read about them? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh, is it a girl? That's what I meant. Yes. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I have a guess, but I don't know because you said I don't talk about them a lot. And I feel like I have a guess, but I feel like it's wrong. So I feel like I should ask a few more questions. Is this character blonde? Yes. Is it? I'm going to put in my guess. This is me putting in my guess okay uh, but why do i not want to say it why do i hate being wrong so like this Just, is like <laughs> toxic is it daisy calloway yes <laughs> oh thank god you were asking the pressure character development but i never finished it so i was like oh, oh okay so that's why you looked yeah she did have character development she had a lot of character <laughs> development i'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready i have my characters you up have on them? the list so okay yeah. um let's see i'm trying not to ask the same questions but i want to um, yeah, that's what I was. Uh, who cares? <laughs> like, get the first ones out of the way. Is it part of a fantasy? Yeah. yeah. No. No. Okay. Um, so we're sitting on a romance here. <laughs> we're not, I guess so much. Just... Is it a book I read recently? No. Is are there people on the cover of the book that they're in? No. Hmm. Are there multiple covers? Yes. Is it YA? No. Um, is it part of some kind of series? No. Is it an older book? In what Not way? Not older, like, was it like a newer release? Is it newerly released? I don't... Was really it released this year? Really. Hold on. No, it wasn't released this year. Major. Is it a sports romance? Yes. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay, is it a hockey romance? No. What the heck are the romance? <laughs> oh. Well, there's a poor <laughs> Oh. Is it a... What are there? Football romance? Yes. Football? Who yep. the heck plays football? Who the okay. heck plays football? <laughs> okay. Comment down below if you guys play football. <laughs> is it a slow burn? <laughs> Is it, like, known for being a slow burn? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, I have something in my head. Okay, are you thinking? Does it have, like, a plot twisty type of thing? Yes. Okay, is it a boy? Yeah. I think I know what <laughs> it the is. Worst part, yeah, I think you know what it is, and the worst part is if I think you know what it is, it doesn't say his name on the description either. <laughs> I forgot his name. But you can just okay. say, like, the book that you think it's from. Okay, let me guess one more thing. Okay. Mm, do they have a beach house? Yes. What is his name? This could okay. be totally wrong. Is it Noah? Is his name Noah? Yes. Noah oh. Riley. No, I forgot okay. to guess. Okay, yeah. I have my last one. Okay, are, are you ready for me to guess? Yes. Okay, I'm going to switch it up by asking if it's a romance. No. Oh, my God. Okay, is Finally, it a fantasy? Finally, we got... <laughs> yeah. Okay, is it a series? Yes. Is it more than two books? No. It's not more than two books? No. Is the second book already out? Yes. Why can I not remember any fantasy <laughs> duology I've ever read? Just two books, and I've read... And I've, I've read both of them. Yes. Mm. Mm. 
Hmm. Do you like these books? Yes. <laughs> the fact that I'm forgetting... <sighs> what? I am only thinking of two books that are a duology that I've read. But neither of them is what you're talking about. Well, I know it's... Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. Why is my mind... I'm literally envisioning my fantasy shelf right now. Did I read it last year? Um, I think... Yes. <gasps> okay. Mm-hmm. There's a T... Is there a TV show? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. Thank God. Um, <laughs> thank God you got yeah, here. Yeah, thank God. God, that was looking me straight in the face. I don't know why <laughs> I forgot all about that um and if you guys want to know how i'm reaching this conclusion i'm literally envisioning my fantasy shelf and going one by one through every single Mm -hmm. book and where they're at on the shelf i can literally remember it okay is it a boy yes is he what you would call a mastermind i would call him that yeah is he a main character yes is it kaz Mm mm-hmm okay that was great well that was a great game i enjoyed that that was fun we also have one more guys don't go anywhere we have this one which is fun and exciting where it's basically just a take on like the tbr jar game where we wrote down a bunch of questions for the other person so basically when i reach in this jar and get a piece of paper out it is a question for sarah tailored to sarah you guys are going to see like when we read the questions how it's like tailored to the other person and when sarah gets papers out of her jar the questions are tailored to me so Mm. it's basically like a live q a basically here we go i'm reaching into my jar my handwriting i was writing these really fast same let's see if i can read what i wrote if you could pick any series or book to become a show or a movie which would it be okay show or a movie (laughs) if i could pick any series to have like a movie series like a franchise kind of like hunger games or twilight i would pick the throne of glass because i just really think that the storyline of those books are beautiful and would be able to be shown very beautifully why am i nervous oh i did a lot of these like kiss mary kill type questions um i have one of those okay yeah so we have kiss mary kill henry tom or christian all from the magnolia parks universe okay henry tom christian i'm gonna kill Mm -hmm. christian i'm gonna marry henry (laughs) and i'm gonna (laughs) kiss tom what all right was that too quick you literally (laughs) had no problem you were like yeah cool so i'm definitely killing christian do you guys want (laughs) to ask me how i would do it too do you guys want to ask me how i would go about that if you wouldn't marry henry i don't trust you if reese or rowan came into the real world which would you want to meet and you could only pick one <laughs> Destiny didn't like that one. Oh my god, I can only pick one. Um, this is this is like the hardest thing that I think I've ever had to go through. <laughs> the my my fear with Rowan is he doesn't have the best first impressions with people. Mm-hmm. But I think I owe it to Reese. I think I owe yeah. everything. <laughs> all right good answer that was a really good question thank you so much for asking that of course um oh my gosh i love this question literally (laughs) us for all of them you can interview one author for an hour and ask any question that you want and they have to answer who are you choosing i have to say jessa like i have to i I need to know the answers to everything i was like i think that's what because i think the clause that got you there was they have to answer anything yeah you ask i need answers and i yeah and she has them read only sports romance for a year or enemies to lovers romance every time Mm -hmm. you pick up a romance it's one of these tropes here's my fear i love love enemies to lovers but my fear is that with sports romance at least you can get different tropes within it like you can get like whatever it may be but with enemies to lovers i feel like the same at like after like the third one in a row like i love it but after the third one in a row you're gonna get tired of it so i think i would have to go with sports romance just because at least i could get some like different vibes in there i agree in the case of a fire i wrote this question down too (laughs) you can go back for three individual three is the key word three individual books you can't choose a series you have to pick three specific books what what are they i would choose oh my god that's gonna tear me up (laughs) okay when i leave this fire can i can i buy them again 
We'll say that. that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Okay. So I would choose Magnolia Park's Long Way Home because it's annotated and I need my annotations. So I'd have to take that with me. I would take my original Love in Other Words, the yellow cover. Also annotated. Also, I don't think they sell that cover anymore. No, they don't. So I would need that. And I would probably take... Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Only one more. Oh my God. How do I choose now? I'm I'm like sweating now because I don't know what to pick. I would pick... I think I would take Beach Read with me. That's like my OG annotated. Did you expect those? (laughs) I definitely expected the Magnolia Parks one. Yeah. And I didn't expect the Beach Read. I didn't either. If you could have dinner with five characters, who would they be? Like that TikTok filter when they're like, it spins and lands on someone. Okay. Absolutely. Everyone at the same Um, table. Everyone at the same table. God, how would this chemistry go? (laughs) Um... Okay, I'm going to give two of the spots to Reese and Rowan. They have to go to them. Okay. Um, I would take the third spot for Gibbsy. And then, okay. but then I feel like, but then I feel like if I give it to Gibbsy, then Johnny would have to be there because the chemistry with both of them in the same room mm-hmm. is like amazing. So then we only have one left and there's literally every Emily Henry guy to ever exist. But I feel like I'd have to give it to my OG Gus. Next one. You can only choose one author to read all of their new releases. So, like, there's only one author you can choose to read any of the new books they put out. And you can't read any other author's new releases. I hate to beat this girl. I truly do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking Jess's book. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, okay. Here's my Kiss, Mary Kill. Ooh. Julian from Daisy Hates, Reese, and Gibsy. Oh my God, no! <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like in every Kiss Mary Kill that I wrote down, like I kind of gave Sarah like an op out for the kill every other time. I couldn't time. do that. We want uh, another tea. There is not a world where I could kill Reese. I just want to let everybody know that. I just <laughs> I literally want to throw up saying this. I want to throw up saying this. But here's the thing. Okay. And I'll give you guys reasons for this. If we're we're all obviously in hypothetical world, I would marry Reese. Obviously, I mean that's like the obvious choice. Yeah. Marry him. So he's just over here. Now okay. we're between Gibbsy and Julian. I'm gonna kill Julian, and here is why. Because this is, this is my reasoning, and it brings me to tears to think about. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I want to throw up. Actually, just the I prospect can't of this. Okay, you explain. So. I can't marry him because he's not the marriage type. Like that that option's just not there and he would yeah, break my valid. heart into a million pieces. But he would also break my heart into a million pieces if there was just a kiss involved because he's just not one of those types. Like and he can really hurt my feelings, like if that ever became a thing, so I would just have to kill him. I seriously like if I had the opportunity to kiss Jolene Hates. <laughs> no, this actually really pained me. But then I was like, if you have to kill one person, it would have to be Julian because he's just not the settle down type. You can only read one trope for the rest of your life. What is it going to be and why? I think I could read like enemies to lovers in like fantasy world for the rest of my life. Like the only trope ever. Okay. If an author could write your life story so far, who would you pick? an author could write my life story i would honestly say emily henry because i had a feeling you were gonna say that yeah after because my second thought was honestly jessa because her writing is so beautiful but emily henry in happy place i said this that her writing kind of reminded me of jessa's a little bit and i feel like her writing is just so good and i feel like she can make my life awesome have you ever do you know about the titanic <laughs> i'm not that out of touch with shows and movies okay, i do so know you'll about get this <laughs> you'll get this then okay. you're on a boat you're on, on a boat. boat and it's sinking there's only Perfect. room on the door for one other person you have to choose between bj or kai who are you picking? <gasps> <laughs> what is that? who out of those two are you putting up onto the door do I want to be trauma bonded with BJ? Like, kinda, but he'll probably, he'll probably, we'd probably get to shore and he would like run to the next, next girl. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to choose Kai. 
he okay. would save me. Okay. He would yeah. do anything in his power to save me. Can you fan cast one of your favorite books or series for us? Ooh, I'll do Beach Read. But just everybody know that I want <laughs> Rowan to be Henry Cavill from The Witcher. That's awesome. Right. Um, okay. Beach Read. Logan. Is it Logan Learman? Yeah, is he the one from Perks of being a wallflower? Yes, but how he looks now, mm-hmm. he is Gus. Glenn pa- she's in the movie with Glenn Powell. Look, watch my brain work, guys. Wait, that's who you're talking about? I thought you were talking about the girl from Euphoria. But this, this is who I'm talking about. Oh, she's cute. I, yeah, I could picture her as genuine. What's her name? Joey. Her name is Dish. Zoe. And because she does rom-coms so well, she's in a few rom-coms, and she kind of gets that, like, dry kind of like wittiness that january has okay this is i've spent too long on this question you can choose to live in one of these universes which will it be magnolia parks throne of glass or chestnut springs wouldn't live in throne of glass i would probably die um <laughs> think would i be like in in the in the groups in the group yes yeah okay oh my god okay i think i would i th- Oh my god, how do you choose? Like, imagine seeing the Eaton Brothers, like, in real life. That's that's a sight to see. I want to go, yeah, oh no. I want to sit at a family dinner with the Eaton family, but I also want to sit with the box set out to eat. But I feel like they would make fun of me. Love you guys, but I feel like they would... They would call you poor. <laughs> I think I would choose Chestnut Springs. They would welcome me with open arms. Yeah, and they would. Can't would you rather mind? live in Chestnut Springs? <laughs> no way <laughs> yeah <laughs> or in philly with the addicted characters oh 100 percent in philly hello oh yeah, wait yeah. i didn't give you a i actually didn't give you a whatever with this one kiss mary kill you didn't put anyone down bj kai dorian <gasps> <laughs> this is my revenge yeah like, well truly. you made me kill julian and his blood is on your hands here's the thing i love dory uh, he i've been rooting for him and i've been like literally it hurts to read his whatever okay but i don't love him in the same way i love kai and vj like the way i would love to i love dory as a romantic partner in any way i don't <laughs> and i know he's been through a lot after everything he's been through sarah I've been is going to for kill him, him. I'm sorry I, i'm sorry love you <laughs> he can't hear you <laughs> he's gone um, okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay i'm going to kiss bj Woo! and i'm gonna marry kai <laughs> Um, see, this was kind of the same. If you could save or keep, say, a fire was going on. Not really, though. Whatever. Hypothetical. (laughs) Obviously. (laughs) If you could save or keep one of the Akatar editions you have, which would it be? Mm. Like, the original, the pretty one, the annotated one? I would get the OG covers that I have, like, the first editions of Akatar, because, one, they're the one that's actually like worth something in my collection the ones that like are the og covers first released exclusive edition now i kind of want to know what books you would save can you do three i would save i'm thinking i own a lot of books (laughs) um i think i would save oddly enough i would save my fairy loot copy of a curse for true love Mm because i feel like it's one of those editions that you just can't like get anymore Mm -hmm. um I would save my OG cover of Love in Other Words because they don't make it anymore. I would save now their OG covers of um, Binding, no, Keeping 13. We have another Kiss, Mary Kill, but these ones are genres. So we have sports oh, okay. romance, cowboy romance, and dark romance. I would kill dark romance. Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> I would marry cowboy. I love cowboy romance, and I yeah. would kiss sports okay what is your ideal romance or any book don't know why i said romance any book like book trope and like storyline like what is your like ideal flow of the book one the guy has to be a golden retriever the guy has to be a simp for the girl he has to be like literally like not obsessed with her in an unhealthy way but just like isn't afraid to let her know that he has feelings for her because one of my least favorite things in romance books is like when they want to act like that that person like when you want to act like that person like doesn't mean anything to you why are you doing that i would like for it to be like 
friends to lovers that share like a lot of history together like I like how I just read love redesigned and they like had a history together like Mm -hmm. a long history I love that because I love like when we don't have to like work through like knowing each other like you just know each other it's like and better than the movies how they've always been neighbors and I I would like for them to be older not YA this one's kind of stupid so (laughs) which is the best seasonal reads like witchy romances or Christmas romances like which is your favorite like do you like reading witchy romances for the season better or like Christmas books for the season better I don't really love Christmas books but is that an unpopular opinion maybe but I don't really I like I don't either and like reading too many of those get a little repetitive I think the witchy ones are fun I think I would choose the witchy ones (laughs) you can bring one fictional character to life who will it be you can choose a boy (laughs) character and a girl character okay I'm for girl I think I'm gonna bring one of the girls from Chestnut Spring series I think we could be besties okay I don't really know which one but I feel like I would be besties girls girls yeah why do I really want to choose Connor Cobalt (laughs) I want to be valid done. and that's like a throwback for you um oh, yeah. we're gonna do a nice little quick kiss mary kale we have romance fantasy and thriller okay i'm gonna marry fantasy kill thriller and kiss romance you're writing these down knowing my answer this is one's kind of like a two-parter okay. i want you to imagine that you're at the altar what is the book character that would be at the altar standing with you there's like so many options here <laughs> I think I might go with Connor again. Why am I really okay loving Connor? Can you answer that one too? Well, Ooh, yeah, just... I will after this. Um, okay. So you, so you're standing at the altar with Connor, but then oh, you hear someone? an objection in the crowd. Who is objecting your wedding, oh. and you're running away with them? Oh my God! I know BJ's objecting because he would never ask <laughs> me to marry him, but he would object, and we're gonna run and away. And you're running away with him. Yeah, but Connor will probably find me again. That's fine. Because okay. me and BJ wouldn't last. Connor can't lose. So. Yeah, and he would, like, fight his way back. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, can you um, choose? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if I'm at the altar with a book character, I feel like I feel like it would be <laughs> Rowan. I feel like Rowan would be like, let's get married, and I'd be like, sure, whatever. But <laughs> I, I love him, though. Like, I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, you're going to have to cut that hair. And so he's like, okay, whatever. He cuts the hair for the wedding. But then in true Reese fashion, he comes yeah. in because he loves crushing weddings. And um, he says, Your dress it's going to be another tam- ta- go. It's going to be another tampon situation. Yes, that was perfect. Okay, last one. Okay. <clears throat> you can only choose one series to continue. And you have three options. Oh, Is it one, Magnolia Parks Into the Dark? Isn't that the next is that yeah. the next title? Okay. Ruthless Vows or Reckless, which is the second book in the Power of the series. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, you can only choose I, one, by the way. I think I wouldn't be able to, like, no, my God, how do I? Oh, my God. The way I feel it always like comes down to really BJ and Kai. It, it always comes down. But I think yeah. I would survive with the books I have of Magnolia Parks, just rereading those over and over again. I think yeah. I would need to read Reckless with the way that book went. I need more of it because I only have I have four Magnolia Parks books right now. I only In have a one surprising Reckless. turn of events, everybody. Sarah has chose something that is not uh, the Magnolia Parks universe. <laughs> hey, and so we'll read Powerless. Event, yeah, so uh-huh. go read Powerless, and that is the conclusion. That was like, so fun. Our game show. Thank you so much for watching or listening in on our game show episode today. We hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, That's guys. It. That's it. You guys can answer these questions, too, if you want, because they were fun. Answer down below. Comment whatever you want. Give us a five star. Subscribe. All of that stuff. Follow us over on the Podsta. Yeah. Podsta. Podsta. Thank you guys for um, listening. That's all I got for you. And following and supporting and being best ever. That's all I have. My brain's like slowed down yeah my brain's off okay bye guys (laughs) love you bye love you